Oh, just look at that. Hi guys, how you all doing? Welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today we're going to make a British classic. We're going to make a small pork pie. Now we've got a big large pork pie on the channel and there's a link up here or down there in the description so you can make a family sized pie. But you know I got many requests saying can you make small pies? Yes I can. Let's show you how to do it. I've got pork mince. I've got some pork shoulder. I've got some sage, thyme, black pepper and salt. That's it. Now a good pork pie has cubes of meat in. So we will have to cube our meat. Okay, let's tip our mince in there. So that's our pork mince in there. I'm just going to put that seasoning to one side. And I'm going to dice up this pork shoulder. So we want some small, small cubes. We want those cubes of meat in there. So when I say small guys, like that, that's what I mean. So get that in there. So just cube it up the best you can cube. So let's add our seasoning to that. Our sage, our thyme, our black pepper, our salt. So just mix it all through. So the seasoning is, is all the way around that meat. Now we don't have to go bananas with this guys, you know. We're not trying to make it into some sticky mass, you know, we're not doing sausages or anything. We just want all that flavour to come in on that meat. I'm going to add 50 grams of breadcrumbs and we're going to give that a mix in there. If you put a few breadcrumbs in there, and there's only like 50 grams here, there's not very many at all. It's going to give that nice mouthfeel when you actually eat your pork pie. So that's our meat mix for our pie. Okay, here we are. We've got shortening, we've got margarine in the pan and we've got 400 milliliters of water and we're just going to turn on the flame and we're going to melt the fats into the water. Now, this is a hot water crust pastry. So we do not have to have boiling water we have to have hot water. Now the hot water just melts the fats into the water. That's why it's a hot water pastry. So all we're doing is just dissolving the fats into the water. So as soon as the water gets warm enough, obviously the fats are going to start to dissolve. Now what you have to do, you have to be very, very careful with this, you know. If you get splashed from this, it's not just hot water, which is painful enough. This is obviously water with fat in. So be very careful. There you go. That's good enough. That is my hot water fats to go in my flour. So we're just going to take this off the heat. Right, okay, I'm going to make quite a bundle of pastry actually. I'm going to make double the amount that will be in the description because I'm going to make a few pork pies. So in with some flour. So that's a kilo of flour and that's 200 grams. To that we want to add two tablespoons, two tablespoons, two teaspoons of salt. And then we're just going to give this a little mix in because of the salts. And then all we're going to do guys, we're going to add our fat. So tip all our fat in there. And then all we need to do is give this a mix in. 
So start bringing it in first with a wooden spoon or, a, or any other spoon. So just stir it in, nice and steady, don't get splashed. And then when all that fats have been incorporated into that flour, it should be warm enough for us to handle with our hands. And then what we want to be doing, once we've got it all together like that, we need to tip it out onto our work surface and give it a little kneading. Now, not too much. So we'll just put a little bit of a flour on there. And then we're going to get our pastry out of here onto our work surface without making too much mess I hope and then all we need to do is we need to bring it all together now this is still quite warm but it's not hot hot and it certainly makes it easier for bringing together so that's it basically now that is still quite warm so what we're going to do we're going to let that cool a minute but what we are going to do we are going to split it roughly in half now you can be super critical and you can weigh this out that is up to you so that is our pastry made simple as that guys all we're going to do now is cover this in cling film. Now you can split it again if you wanted to. You know, if you want to just split it up different sizes so you can store it in the fridge, in the freezer. Not a problem. So that is our pastry made. We need to wrap our pastry in cling film to cool. Just squash it out so we've got that start with that little bit of a round on there. And that is our pastry made. Simple as that. So I do that with all the bits of pastry and then we stick it in the fridge. And all we're going to do now is we're going to stick this in the fridge. Let it cool down for an hour and then we can make our pork pies. Right, that's our pastry. It's been cooling. It's not been cooled for an hour but... You know, not to worry, it's at about half an hour, so it could be a bit soft. So let's have the pastry out of there. A little bit of flour on there, a little bit of flour on the pin. And we're going to roll out. I've got some of these tins like this, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to roll them out. And I'm going to cut it with this plastic tub. And then it should fit. I hope. So just roll your pastry out like you would any pastry. Just give it a roll out. So I'm looking at something like that. Okay, so when I take that off there, that will fit inside there. Hopefully. Something like that. So we're going to end up with something like that guys, nice and simple, we're going to put the filling inside there and then we're going to put the pastry lid inside this pastry and close it over. Okay, so all we need to do is cut out a few of those, we don't want that, whatever that is. So let's cut that out, can we get another one on there, cut that out, another one on there, cut that out. And then we just use up the pastry again. You know, we don't throw anything away. We re-roll it and use it again. 
You know, making your own pot pies is so simple. But if you live where I live, very, very expensive. Very expensive. You know, and everybody thinks they have to be some specialist sausage maker to make good pies. Anybody can make a pork pie. Okay, so that's our meat mixture. And all we're going to do is put it in our pies. Get your meat mixture and push it in there. Push it down a little bit. A little bit more. We want a full pie and that's our pie. Just put to one side and carry on with the rest. So with our pies filled now guys what we need to do is roll out some lids. So more flour, flour your pin and let's get rolling. <laughs> So once we rolled out our lids, what we need to do is just take out the center. Now I'm using an oops, I'm using a nozzle from a piping bag. So just take out that. That's going to be our breathing hole for our pies. And then what we need to do, we need to rub a little bit of egg wash round there around that inside rim and then all we're going to do is take our lid and put our lid on there and we're going to just squash it inside our pastry there and as we squash it in nip it together And then what you can do, you can do the usual two finger, one finger. And that's our pie guys, that's my pork pie. And then all we're going to do is egg wash it. So we'll crack on and do the rest and then we'll egg wash them. All we need to do now is just egg wash the top of our pies and then they're going in the oven 200 degrees for about 40 minutes. Right, we've got two leftover small pies here. Okay, it doesn't look very pretty but I'll tell you it's going to taste exactly the same. Right guys, all those pies in the oven 200 degrees for about 40 minutes. Here we are guys, pies out and cooling. And then we'll get them out of the tin. Now these are not going to have jelly. Oh, just look at that. Oh man, pie and peas, mint sauce, unbelievable. If you like what we're doing guys, don't forget, like and subscribe, catch you in the next video. Mm.